All right, Greg, so here we are today. Here we got a beautiful example of a C2, 1967. Marlboro Maroon. Marlboro Maroon, like the Marlboro Man. Yes, sir. Today we wanted to talk about 90, 95% of the cars that you sell are sold. Sight unseen sales. Uh, right. Basically 95% of, of my buyers don't come here to look at the cars. And, and, and obviously you have a great reputation in this industry and they know that if you represent the car to be what it is, they have a lot of confidence in you. But, but this car, one, and the reason we've picked this car is because the judging organizations that pride themselves in adequately numerically representing the car. Right. And there's, and you, and you're about to tell me there's about three organizations that do this. Right? There, there's NCRS, Bloomington Gold, Triple Crown, AACA, and of course, Duntoff is the highest level of NCRS judging offered. Right. And this car has a Duntoff award oh, wow. with it. So, so obviously, if you're an NCRS guy, you think that's the best. If you're one of the other guys, you think that's the best. In your opinion, which, which, which system do you like? If I had a choice, I'd probably prefer NCRS. Yeah. Uh, I'm a member of NCRS. I, I probably know a little bit more about their organization and, and how the judging standards are and all that. And that's, that's why I'd probably favor them. Now, when a buyer calls you, are the, are the buyers that you're dealing with, are they going, does it have any awards? Pretty much everybody calls me, asks me about the, the awards. awards. Of course, on my website, You've already I listed. picture all the awards and, and certificates and ribbons. I pretty much try to picture all that and all the original paperwork, tank sheet, window sticker, all that as well, are, right. are pictured on the website. This tank sticker, from 67 to 53, as the car was being produced, they put a little literal piece of paper that listed out all the options this car was gonna get and they glued it or affixed it to the tank while the car was on the production line. Right, well, 67 was on the tank. Okay. The prior 67, it was like a Corvette order. Okay. Well, or the early cars, the window sticker. Okay. It showed all the options, the color, the price of the car and, and the selling dealer. Okay. On the C1s, basically. I see. But. Uh, but as they went along, you know, more, more paperwork to prove what the car actually is. Right. And so part of this award, they're going to look at this tank sticker. They're going to look at this uh, invoice. They're going to look at the, the car, and then they're going to make sure the car is as correct as it was the day it was produced. Right, when it was new. And then, of course, the, the awards and the tank sticker and, and all the paperwork has the VIN number of the car on, on right. the paperwork as well. And then for like this car, I know you're quite knowledgeable. So is the VIN number in more than one place on this car? Yeah, the VIN number is of course on the VIN tag, right. on the engine block, on the frame. Okay. And, and, and then date codes of the block and, and the, the components it's built of are date coded, you know, a couple months prior to the build date of the car even. Okay. Uh, but mainly the VIN numbers on the block, it's the frame and and, and so when these guys that are coming to judge these cars, they're going to be interrogating these VIN numbers to make sure that then the build date components are in line with the months that they should have been prior. With the build of the car. And then when people want this exact replica of the car, their, their goal is, is that the car be delivered and presented today as if you had just purchased it. Right, on a survivor judging. And the top award in NCRS is this Duntoff. The Duntoff Award. And this car has that. This, yes, it does. So it's a great example of that. Then you mentioned Bloomington Gold. And that's another entirely separate organization. Entirely a separate organization that judges the cars basically like the NCRS with a, with a judging sheet and, okay. and, and numbers. So you're, you're going to see a car that has an NCRS score of 97 is excellent. Would that be accurate? That's pretty excellent, yeah. Yeah, so that's about as good as you're going to get given, because they're going to mark off for stuff that just can't be helped because the car is exactly. 50 years old or exactly. whatever. Exactly, tires, battery, belts, hoses. Uh, yeah, because it can't be that maybe because they're right. it's that old. If I see a 97 NCRS, I'm going to see a Bloomington Gold score of what? You'll, you'll see a Bloomington Gold. Period. Oh, the Gold yeah. is the yeah. high. Okay. So that kind of corresponds to that 94 to 100. Right. Okay, top right. flight. Right. And so, so if I see 
it, that would give you pause and if I had an NCRS that had a 97 and then I had a Bloomington Silver, I'd be like, wait a minute. Well, it, 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 could, it could be so close that, that just a, a, an afternoon working on the car, looking at the judging sheets, would push it right on over to a, to a, to a Bloomington goal. I see. Just maybe the tires were wrong or... So then you still need to interrogate these sheets and look yeah, at it. So yeah. that's something somebody could do. And then you mentioned the third one. AACA. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an organization that judges the cars for cleanliness, okay. paint condition, okay. chrome condition, all that. Not so much as originality. Not a correct car. Right. But this would be for the, the kind of the beauty in the eye of the beholder kind of right. rating. A, a beautiful car with, with, with show quality paint and, and right. chrome and so all that. So we really don't care so much that it's correct just how the car presents. Yeah, Okay. exactly. And so what, and this car has a high rating of It that has well. the AACA uh, Junior and Senior Award as well. Okay, so now we've talked about in the past survivors and we've talked about recondition and we've talked about beyond. Is this a, is this a survivor car? No, this is a restored this car. This is a restored car. And when was the restoration done? Approximately 20 years ago. 20 years ago, Yeah. okay. And this is the way the car looks today after exactly. that. So the car was a pretty good survivor 20 years ago. Yeah, it was. It was. It, it probably looked close to what it how it looks now. Right. Uh, you know, it was painted, mechanicals gone through, all you know, brakes, belts, all that stuff. Right. But it probably was about as good as it was now. Right. Rather than paint. I see. Yeah. Nobody envisioned that they're putting this Corvette together on this assembly line, and this is going to be a six-figure car. Right down the road. They just thought it was another car. Another car as a, as a Chevelle, the 67 yeah. Chevelle and, and the Novas and all that were just as, just, just, as good as that. Just another car. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And so now these cars now obviously know the, the legacy and the heritage that they have enamored. Now this car is also special. Tell us a little bit about this car because it's uh, you mentioned that it has this exhaust system on it. This is from the factory. Yeah, it's very uh, desirable. Not many were made. Yeah, that's right. Most of, most of the cars, 67, 6, that you see with side pipes are dealer added or, okay. or, or people added the pipes. Right. This particular car came with the side pipes from the factory. It's on the tank sheet. Oh. And that's pretty rare to find one that actually came with factory side pipes. Of course, the 350 horse engine, that's an upgrade. The top of the mark at that uh, time. Yeah, high performance engine. Uh, power steering, power brakes, and the vinyl covered hard top is, was an option too. So, that was offered in 67 only as the, vi in, in, in the C2 car. Right. It was only offered in 67. So as an example car, this car has all the options. Pretty much, it doesn't have air condition. So air condition was offered. It was offered. Somebody would have ordered factory air on this car it, could it have would it. have been factory. But this car's for sale. Yes, sir. What else would you like to tell folks that have watched this car that has the top of the mark of all these awards? It seems like this is a very desirable car to me. First thing, it's a 67. Everybody wants a 67. It's, it's maybe, maybe the best of the C2, maybe, depending on who you ask. The last of this body, the last year of this body, it's a 350 horse. It's power steering, power brakes, factory side pipes, vinyl covered hard top, red lines and rallies. Just, it's just what everybody would order. Plus the car has all the awards that everybody wants and all the original paperwork. It's, it's a great car. We normally wouldn't do this, but Greg, this, this car has so many awards and, and you have this book compiled. So this is Corvette year model and it tells about it and it talks about trim tag interior, code, cylinder heads, all the different yeah, numbers. All the numbers that's, that's oh on my the gosh. cards. There's pages of numbers. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So this is an in-depth. In-depth. Oh. In-depth restoration and, and documentation. That numbers, we, water pumps, everything. Right. What is this? This is the Corvette order form. This, this is basically just shows the options. This, this would have came with the car. Now, the, now my, remember the tank stickers on the tank right at this, this time. time. But right. This is a copy that the oh, buyer that would, the have buyer would have gotten. The dealer. This is the tank sticker. This is the tank sticker that was taken off the tank at restoration. Oh my goodness. The original. And it's on a piece of cardboard. I'm going to spin that around. To me, I mean, I guess all you Corvette guys already knew this. This piece of paper was stuck to the tank right. as the 
chassis roll down the assembly line without the without the body body on it right. and they're assembling the car right. and they're glancing at this to to get the side pipe bracket and to get the big brakes yeah they've, they've looked at this and and, and you know i'm sure oh they refer gosh. back to this probably yeah. going down the assembly line that is so that is really cool so that's pretty in depth Right. I knew you guys were like nerds, but this is like over the top. All right, so tell them one more time how you buy this car. Call me up, go look at my website, pictures of this car, maybe a maybe hundred pictures of this car on my website. Of this book? With all these awards pictured, uh, give me a call, text, or email. We'll put you in it. You could not go wrong buying this That's car, right. I don't think. You're right.